What's good everybody? It's the sisters. I mean by Mel and she is Amanda. We are both curly girl sisters who have two different hair types. Me being a finer texture, 3B to 3C curls, and she What am I? <laughs> she asked me, the hairstylist. Amanda's got a thicker, a coarser texture of hair and a looser curl ranging between 2C and 3B. So stay tuned for this video where we're gonna show you guys new products that we haven't used in front of you guys before. We're also gonna show you a new application technique and how using the same products, the same application technique, using the same brushes, even using the same blow dryer, the same shirt, the same clips, and the same family cuteness. Oh no. We are the Seasters. And we'll show you exactly how the results will come out on our two different hair types. Okay, everybody? Without further ado, let's get to it. So today we'll be using the line of products from Curl Smith. Hey. And we have just both used the Curl Quenching Conditioning Wash to conditioningly wash our hair. Secondly, we are going to use their Moisture Memory Reactivator and we're going to be using this as our prepping product. All right. Let's let down the hairs. This could actually be used to reactivate the curls later on in the week as the curls, um, you know, look a little wonky when you wake up. But you can also use it as a leave-in, so I like how it's pretty light to start off the wash. So now that we've got our prep products in, we are both going to work all of these products in using the exact same brush. You may know it. It is the infamous Denman brush. These brushes can be great to apply your curly hair products when you are brushing them through. We've already detangled our hair, so this is a pretty easy process. Plus, our hair is quite wet. Let that be known, our hair is wet. And if it ever starts to dry, we have our spray bottle with us on deck. And to style our hair, we're both going to be using the Hold Me Softly Style Balm. So this would be your curl enhancer product. What happened here? Oh, no. A middle part? Oh my god. So we're gonna use, a little bit goes a long way. These are not heavy, but they're very thick and moisturizing products. So especially when you're applying them to nice and wet hair, you don't have to use too much. You're better to start off with a little bit and then work your way up and use some more. This is great for wavy, curly, textured, any kind of dry hair, which we both have, as both of us color our hair. Actually, I'm also just colored my hair. Yes, I did! Yesterday. And she cut it, so you guys can see what my fresh cut and color will look like after this video. Mm-hmm. We'll take half of our hair and put it away. See, I don't know about you, but I feel my hair. I could use a little bit more product back here. Mm -hmm. Which is fine. It's so easy to now add a little bit more product than, oh my god, I have so much product and I'm wasting some. So I'll take a little extra, just to squeeze. Just a squeeze. So now that we've gently worked it through with our fingers, we're not gonna just stop there. So we are both going to take our Denman brush yet again and brush it through, not just to saturate and distribute the product, but what this is also going to do is it's gonna lay down any frizz and flyaways and it can help get really good definition to your curl. Now Amanda, what are you doing? You're doing it wrong. Well, see, you could just brush down, but if you're just brushing down, you're not going to get a lot of definition in your root area. I like to, I'm going to get a close up for this, okay? Give me a moment. Hello, everyone. You always want to be working 90 degrees from how the hair falls. The hair falls like this, nuh uh. It grows out of the scalp like this. This is how we want to brush off of the head. This is going to give you the most amount of definition in your root area as well. So, you want to take small sections. We've got this horizontal section here. So I'm going to take this section above my ear, just this section. Amanda, you're doing the same back there? Yes, she is. When I have this section, I'm going to come from underneath with the brush, and I'm gonna spin the brush a little bit. This is gonna cause more tension on your hair, so be careful if you have fragile and fine hair. You don't wanna cause any breakage. But just bring the brush through until you release, and scrunch and squeeze. So this is going to give you some really great definition very natural curls. It's a different type of definition from finger coils. Finger coils are going to give you perfect ringlets. This is gonna help the curls to clump, but like I said, very naturally. You kinda gotta do some yoga to reach the back of your head, but you wanna make sure that you get back there. So Amanda needs a little bit more than me because her hair is a little bit thicker and coarser, but I'm not gonna put too much because I do not wanna weigh down 
my finer texture of curls. I'm gonna re-wet my hairs because it does not hold onto water like Amanda's does. It's definitely more porous, it spits all the water back out. So personally, I like to split down the middle when I'm doing the Denman brush, and I'm just gonna work everything off of the head on this side, and then everything off of the head on this side. Amazing. And now we have to finish it off. We wanna seal it all in with the Curl Defining Styling Souffle. We'll show you what it looks like in a moment, as soon as Amanda gets it open. Okay. What is that? It's jello. It's kind of like a jelly type of thing. We want to seal in the moisture with this, so. And because it's curl defining, now that we have the moisture in, this is how you would finish it off. So, we'll both take our amounts of gel, took like, you know, a quarter size amount, and spread it through your hands. And you gently want to you know, coat the hair. So, kind of praying hands, but I'm gonna use both hands, so I'm gonna use crab hands. This is a crab hands technique. You saw it here first. I literally just thought of that on the spot. Kind of graze over the edges of the curls. Very gently. You're not quite raking through the curls. You're really just gently caressing them to coat them with some of this jelly form of product. Also, if you notice any really big clumps that the brush had formed, now is the time to separate them. You don't want the hair to dry in really big clumps because then you'll have to separate them after it's dry, which is just gonna cause a lot of frizz. So you wanna separate them now. You want the style to look good now, so it looks good later. And to finish everything off, to set it in style, we're gonna pull out the big guns. And you guys already know, we're going to be using the same styling technique that Melissa has taught us all and she has revolutionized the diffusing process. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And if you haven't checked the video out, make sure you do. Wow, okay. It's a little hot in here. There's a lot of diffusing action. Amanda's hair took a little bit longer, a lot of bit longer. I had to help her out towards the end. But here are our final dry, not yet scrunched, Curls. So now we're just going to very lightly scrunch out the cast by just squishing our hair which is going to soften out that gel hold without disturbing the curl and without further ado we are left with amazing results. Amanda you get your turn. Let's give Amanda 360. Wow. Wow. I'm impressed. So how does the product feel for you, Amanda? All these products are very, very moisturizing, so my hair feels very bouncy, very light. But even though it's very moisturized, it doesn't feel weighed down. It's still, as you can see, it has still a lot of bounce and a lot of volume. And we look at my hair. <laughs> I freaking love it. So this is gonna get bigger and bigger as the week goes on. But I have so much definition. But what I love about it is I can't actually feel that there's product in my hair, like I've been scrunching it out and now I don't have a residue left on my fingers. That is my biggest pet peeve. If after my hair is dry, I can feel the product in my hair, you know, I don't really like it, but this just feels like really soft. And like always, we like to close out this video with our positive comment of the week. Thank you, Jack S 347 Hey. And shout out to Naturally Curly for featuring Made by Mel in a post. Also, um, our question of the week, this is for you, Mel. Very related to this video. Sherelle Wallace is asking, I'm pretty sure brushing isn't curly girl approved though. Question mark. So, I don't know if you're trying to tell me or you're asking. Clearly, we just showed you guys that you can brush your hair and your curls are gonna be okay as long as your hair is wet enough. Brushing through your hair is not going to cause damage. When you have moisture, from water, so it's wet, plus you have slip from moisturizing products, your curls are going to be okay. Of course, you don't wanna brush them when they're dry, but this curly girl approves brushing. And I believe that ends off this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really hope that you learned something today and that it was valuable to you to see both of us use the exact same routine on our different hair types. And of course, you can find all the products and all the tools that we used in the description below. Let us know in the comments below if you guys want to see any other styling routines, maybe some more sister comparisons, some product comparisons. You let us know and we shall deliver. We'll see you guys next week. Peace. What's good everybody? The sisters are back bringing both of you another... Both of you?
Okay, cold washing, conditioning, wash. We conditioningly washed our hair with the conditioning wash. How many times can you say conditioning in one sentence? As long as it's conditioning. Pew, pew. And without further ado, let's get to it! Start! It's like a dance recital when they're like, You have to smile the whole time, but you're so concentrated that you can't freaking smile. Yoga! This is yoga! One! One thing! One! 